What's up everyone, Chris Price here with a, hopefully a quick modification to the KR. Uh, it's a rainy day, so we're gonna try to see if we can add something here in one day. I'm flying to Oregon tomorrow, and I'm gonna try to see if I can add some more autopilot features. So here we go. I've got one more Dynon Servo. Scrap aluminum, this was actually scraps from my instrument panel. I've already drawn out what I'm gonna cut and bend. And the trick is gonna be First of all, take everything apart. And we're gonna see, it's a little dark in here, if I can add a servo right here. I added a elevator autopilot a while back. Um, the biggest challenge we're gonna see if we can figure out is how much that rotates. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna give it a shot. So, came out here to take some measurements, figured out how long the linkage is gonna be, or needs to be. We're gonna get that cut out on my bandsaw take it home, make the parts, bring it back, and hope for the best. So it works out, and you'll see part two of this saga. Two hours later. All right, and we're back. I cut out the aluminum and went to the house and fabricated this up. It looks horrible because it's scuffed up to be fiberglassed on. Got the linkage and everything, and the concern is, does this rotate too much and bind? So, I've got this. It's gonna sit right about here so I can glue it to the side and the bottom. And let's see if I can do this. Right about there. Get the linkage on. This is obviously just a mock-up. But, I think we're good. I can hold it back all the way with one hand. And I think I have a little more movement, so I'm willing to go forward. This is the hard part. I got to pull that out, put a longer bolt in, and possibly re-rig, so that's the next step. Three hours later. Okay, and we're back again. Three or four hours later, I had to pick up the kids from school and do some stuff, but uh, we're done. Uh, off camera, I floxed and epoxied this in. It's still curing. But uh, after three or four hours, I came back, bolted this bad boy on, bolted it there, got it wired up. Pretty simple, I was just able to tie it into that one since I already had one. And we had hopped in, two minutes configuration and it works. So we've got autopilot. All I had to do was go in this little menu. We'll go through it real quick. Dynon stuff's really easy to use. Go through a million menus. I had to configure it in the DSAB to actually, that's the Dynon's bus basically, so I could detect it. And then I just went to autopilot. And we go to calibrate. It says center all control surfaces. So I'll do this with my foot. Press the disconnect switch, which is this guy. Boop. All right, move full pitch down, full left. It goes boom, boom, press okay. Full right, okay, same thing. This is just finding the servo. Go full left, hit okay. All right, successful, I found both. So then, we'll put it to the center here. I'm holding it with my foot. We're gonna hit okay. Hit okay, and it's gonna move. There it goes, it moved it a bit. Did that move up and right? It did. We're gonna hit yes, and watch it'll move it again. Did it go down and left? Yep. Does the disconnect work? Yep. Autopilot. Done, that was it, now it's set up. All I have to do is uh, take it for a flight. I should be able to go to heading mode, so I'm gonna, we'll, uh, we'll continue the video tomorrow on the flight to Oregon, but with this, once this gets a lock, it'll talk there, and I should be able to fly the pink line. So we'll see you in flight, hopefully. All right, here we are. It is the next day, and we're gonna go fly to Oregon, so we're gonna test this thing out together. Run-ups are complete, checklists are complete, we're on a fullest tank. That's traffic experimental, 722 Kilo Charlie's taking off runway 20, right down with departure of entry. Got full bags and a little bit of baggage in me. Runway's clear, pattern's clear, first one of the day. Go. Take off power set. There she's alive. I 
they're going to secure that. Oh, already cold. Everything's happy. Traffic, Nazi traffic, experimental to kill Charlie Red Cross, went 2 0 Nazi. Nazi traffic, airport vehicle proceeding on runway 2 0. Nazi traffic. Traffic's been able to kill Charlie down when departing to the north country. Alright, we're at a good altitude, so in theory we're going to put... I could push the button and put both on, but I'm going to first put my altitude on. Because I don't have an AP-74, so it's really going to level off. If I go bugs, altitude, then I could go up to... We're going to 8500. Good day for wind. I have it set to climb at 500 feet a minute. Yesterday I wasn't getting any nav because this didn't have any data. Now I am. And so I should see in heading mode. Yeah, there we go. Tracker nav. This is the first time I've ever turned it on. Let's see. We're a little bit left of the line. Let's see what happens if I turn this on. Oh, it's turning. The only thing left I would have to do is adjust the sensitivity. But it seems quite docile. We'll see how it catches the line. So we have GPS altitude climbing at about 550 feet a minute. We're going fast. That's fine. Cruise climb. There it goes catching it. Nice. Bad. Guess I'll have some coffee. Well, I don't want to bore you with a three hour flight, so uh, for those of you, thanks for watching. I uh, just kind of wanted to show how easy it is to do this. It really was about I don't know, three hours of work, and most of that was fabricating the push rod linkage and tapping it and making the, the bracket. But works first try, that's awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.